Heidi, what's the latest that you can tell us? Uh, the last time we spoke, you had spoken to the Premier of Mpumalanga, Refilwe Ntsoe Nitsipane. Do the leaders in the province and ordinary citizens continue to flock to Jackson Mtembo's home to pay homage? Yes, indeed, uh, Tulas, many are still flocking to uh, the home of the late Jackson Mtembo, but uh, we're actually doing a different side of the story, uh, a more spiritual one, uh, where Jackson Mtembo used to attend church. It's literally a stone throw away from his house. Uh, apparently, he used to walk uh, to this church. It's um, uh, the Sacred Heart Church here in Ackerville, Whitbank. Uh, and we are joined by Reverend Father Lindes Wane. Thanks so much, uh, Father, for your time. Uh, I think what's important is for you to speak to us about the kind of man that he was, uh, not uh, in terms of uh, his political um, contributions, but the man that used to come to church and the memories that you have of him. Uh, thank you very much. I would say, I would just say, in defining him, a man for the people. He had choices. He would have chosen to go and stay in some big cities and some big suburbs or wherever in, 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 in this country, but he still continued to come back and stay in his own township in Akaville and have friends that he used to have even before he became a minister, a man who was focused, he knew what he wanted, and he was serious about his business, but yet at the same time very simple and accessible. He had friends among the poorest of the poor. You would find him on certain days running around with kids and just doing the normal things that you normally do in a, in a, in a, in a normal township. But then he, I said he's, he had a choice to, to live that life and forget about where he come from. But now he is a man who has got one of the highest offices in the land and yet he comes and be one with his own people, which I think it helped a lot in bringing hope to those who, are, look, who look up, uh, up to him. And speak to us about the conversations that you had with him uh, prior to his passing. I believe that you spoke to him about two or three days ago. Uh, what was that conversation like? Uh, you know, what, what kind of uh, state was uh, Mr. Mtembo in? He was in his normal jovial mood. He was just happy and talking and as usual. But he was saying to me, Father, it's so funny now that it's my turn to call you while I'm in hospital instead of you calling me as I'm sick. So we had a joke about that and we, I assured him that because of who he is, he's going to get one of the best medical care in the land. Uh, then just to make him allay his fears about what's happening. But unfortunately later, we had that he's gone. Mm. And just speak to us about the kind of man he was here at church. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it's literally a stone throw away mm. from his house. But I believe that he used to walk here and he used to attend church uh, and he used to try and contribute in whatever way possible. Speak mm. to us about those memories. A man who loved his God, a man who loved his church, he could not forget his roots. He is what he is because of the experiences that he got through this church. At the times he was growing up, I know, he used to be involved in all this student activism and uh, problems that we had as young people. But he would come back and hide in the church. The church will be his place where the priests will look after him and hide him, take him to many different places for this and that. But he, he imbibed that spirit during that time. And he never forgot uh, that that's where he comes from. And after he has achieved whatever he achieved in life, he came back to Blaubeck. Mm -hmm. I remember in the 80s, 86 or so, the hall that we have here was banned by the system, banned down to ashes. So when it became an MEC for housing or transport in Pumalanga, he organized that the same government that we have today should plow back and remember that here is a church which lost a lot of property because of the struggle. Mm -hmm. Then he assisted us in making sure that we have this place, which we use now, to serve the community at large. We had also a lot of activities in the parish, our 25th anniversary, when this church was celebrating 60 years and so on. He came in big way, assisted in renovations and paintings of the church. He helped in the programs that we had. And every little program that we had in the church, we knew that he promised us anything you need where I can work and support the church because that's where we come from.
he will always be there to support us. Oh, okay, thank you so much, Father. We do appreciate that. So uh, I think that's a, a different kind of perspective of uh, the man that Jackson Mtembu was, a man of God, a man who was committed, and as I previously said to us, uh, a man that was so true to where he came from. It didn't matter that he had one of the top positions in government. He uh, used to walk to church. He used to contribute in whatever way possible, um, and uh, this is uh, the many ways that many people are remembering him. Beautiful tribute there uh, by the priest there uh, at that mm -hmm. church there, Heidi, uh, reflecting a facet of Jackson M. Timber that not many of us would have known, right? Thank you for that. ENCA's Heidi Jokos out in Akaville uh, in Emalathene in Bumalanga.